And the future of education is video games. Like if we can make courses that are as addictive as like playing Doom or, you know, playing, uh, you know, Street Fighter or something like that, then, then like suddenly you've got this thing that draws people in and they get really interested in. And one of my aspirations for Free Code Camp is that someday we can have as, you know, robust a fandom as like Final Fantasy games or something like that, right? right. Like where, where people are like, oh yeah, like this is like a, a particularly insidious challenge and it's claimed many people who've flamed out at this part, you know? And like, oh, maybe, wow. yeah, like we want to gamify it. We want to have like the equivalent of like, like you walk into the room and there are a bunch of corpses and those are people who've like failed <laughs> the exam and like haven't come back to try it again, you know, ah. something like that. We want that kind of vibe and we want to have like all the kind of RPG skill tree type sure. elements just to make it fun, you know? Know, we want to have leaderboards and anything we can make that where it's it's kind of cooperative instead of competitive. Mm-hmm. Those are things we want to incorporate. How many times can you respawn before you lose free code camp? You know, you're out. Sorry, you lost. Yeah, so we <laughs> did actually tinker with what, what I was calling arcade mode for a while, where you could basically oh, really? just like you just sit down and like how much time do you have? And it's like boom, algorithm challenge after algorithm challenge, and they would just get increasingly difficult. And every time you thought you got your code right and you tried to run it and it the test didn't pass. You'd lose a life, you know. What happened with it? I was just, we've got a lot of priorities. We're 12 people. Okay, so you didn't actually execute it all. No, no, we built, we built it. When you-